Hello and welcome everyone on this official platform of Legacy IS Academy. So today in this session I am going to discuss one of the most important issue with respect to international relations. So as IR comes under your GS paper 2 part of mains examination. So in this session I am going to discuss one of the most important development with respect to India Sri Lanka relations. Now. Recently, there was one news that India and Sri Lanka is going to restart their ferry service, which is going to boost the tourism as well as people to people contact between two nations. So this news was there in the Hindu as well. So I would like to show you. <coughs> so as you can see here, so the news was related to this that India to grant full renovation cost of Kankestan Durai port in northern Sri Lanka because this port was destructed during Sri Lankan civil war that is Litte war clear so with respect to this project so recently the news came that India is going to India and Sri Lanka going to resume the service from 14th of May 2024 so we'll try to understand the importance of this event as well as important locations with respect to this news. Now, first of all, so now try to understand the location. Now, this port is in Zafna region near Point Pedro. Getting my point near Point Pedro. Now, there is one famous battle also with respect to Sri Lanka civil war in 2006 called as Battle of Pedro. Battle of Pedro of 2006 where this battle was between Sri Lankan Navy and Litte boats. Various ships and boats were sunk in this battle. Getting my point? So this point Pedro is considered as very important. So Battle of Pedro. So this comes under the northernmost point in Sri Lanka region. Getting my point? Second important thing, this region is also having strategic significance. Now, why strategic significance? Because this Kankas Turai port is located at the distance of 104 km from Karaikal port of Pondicherry. Clear? So, this is also important for people to people contact as well as trade and commerce. Clear? Now, with respect to origin, let me tell you the port's harbor, this port harbor has served as an arrival as well as departure points for pilgrims yes various uh, relations like religious uh, tourists used to come so pilgrims so it was the departure and arrival point of pilgrims clear since classical antiquity which is named after the Sri Lankan Tamil god Murugan getting my point so these are some important things with respect to this location now I would like to tell you some important sites okay that why this port is important clear why india is focusing on this port because of important historical sites for example naguleshwaram temple now naguleshwaram temple it is one of the panch ishwaram dedicated to lord shiva so this temple is also located there then kirimalai springs kirimalai hot springs these are natural springs remember this thing these are natural springs and these springs are known for their healing qualities clear so it is adjacent to naguleshwaram temple these springs and believe that these are known for healing properties clear now another important thing here is mavidapuram kandaswami temple now this is located in the south of the harbor so this whole region is considered as a pilgrimage site as well so then kankestan turai fort now this fort was built by dutch ye fort dutch ne banwaya tha why it is a testament that colonial history it represents the colonial history of the region clear and then kankestan turai lighthouse and beach now this lighthouse is damaged because of due because of Sri Lankan civil war which starts from 1983 or 1988 till 2009 clear so Sri Lankan civil war getting my point so these are some important things with respect to so these are some important 
sides with respect to this fort clear now now how these things were started now remember this thing that earlier india and sri lanka were having ferry service getting my point but due to sri lankan civil war these things were destroyed clear again after the end of sri lankan civil war an agreement was signed between india and sri lanka in 2011 clear so <coughs> now how these things were started so let me tell you this is important for ports why because in 2011 india and sri lanka signed agreement now in this agreement the important provision was to re revive the port clear अब पोर्ट को कैसे रिवाइव किया जाए बाय क्लियरिंग दी संगन सिप्स बिकॉज वेरियस शिप्स वर ड्राउन देयर क्लियर एंड डीपनिंग दी हार्बर सो बिकॉज ऑफ टू थिंग्स सो हाउ टू रिवाइव क्लियरिंग दी पोर्ट दैट इज क्लियर संगन शिप्स clear and deepen the harbor so two important thing clear so in this uh, because of this port revival port activities clear now with this connectivity will be started now why these things are important because these things will help in connectivity it will help in connectivity now when we say connectivity so connectivity in terms that it will reduce the transit time of goods clear and also it will reduce the traveling time from east region like east coast of india bangladesh and myanmar getting my point and this will also propel the economic activity in the north clear so it will strengthen the connectivity from eastern coast of india bangladesh myanmar and other regions clear remember this thing and that is why for this they for this both the countries are going to start passenger ship service that is why they are going to restart passenger ship service or ferry service clear now this passenger ship service now try to understand now passenger ship service now it will connect from nagapattinam naga now nagapattinam region of tamil nadu getting my point and this so it will start from nagapattinam port of tamil nadu to that port clear kangistan thrai port getting my point so it is said that they are going to resume operations so it is said that they are going to resume operations from 13th may 2024 getting my point remember this thing so the aim of this ferry service is to bolster the bilateral ties boost tourism people to people contact it will also increase people to people relations between both the nations clear now apart from this this now passenger service is going to start so in this high speed craft vessel is used now high speed craft which is also called as cheria pani clear so it is a high speed craft vessel which is designated for ferry service clear now this was implemented now basically this project is implemented by tamil nadu maritime board and ministry of shipping corporation of india clear so ye implement kon kar raha hai tamil nadu maritime board and shipping corporation of india clear now the capacity of these ferries 
so the capacity is 150 passengers clear and the time actual time that this ferry service is going to take so the total distance is around 110 kilometer and it is going to take approximately 3.5 hours clear now this is a renovation project because this project was already there and it was destroyed during the time period of civil war that is why it is a renovation project and Sri Lanka actually decided to renovate port with India's agreeing fund for the entire project. So, this jointly project hai both between both the governments. Clear? So, basically the aim of overall these things to uh, promote people to people contact, boost tourism as well as economic ties. Clear? And it will also strengthen the bilateral relations between two nations. So, I hope this much is clear to all of you. So, this is all about news which was there in the newspaper. Clear? So, just connect yourself with newspaper for future developments. Getting my points? So, thank you. Thank you so much.